Hey everyone, this is Shahari Mustafis here again with another Battlefield video. Uh, today we're jumping back into Battlefield 4, looking at the new battle log system, or the new uh, UI for Battlefield 4. This isn't my first time playing Battlefield 4, but I am a pretty low rank as you can see up here in the corner. Let's take a look at my career. Yeah, so I'm a level 8 soldier apparently. When I originally got Battlefield 4 on day 1, I wasn't able to play it because I was able to finish the campaign, but I was ne I was never able to play online because I was playing on a low spec PC, actually a crummy laptop. And then Battlefield 1, I got that day 1 and that was my first ever Battlefield true Battlefield experience on my beast PC right now. And Battlefield Hardline, I got that, but we we all know that's a joke. <laughs> I hate you. But the cool thing about the UI is that it doesn't make you go through the battle log online uh, browser. Now the downside to that is that none of my uh, favorite servers that I had saved in the past are here. Uh, they're all gone actually. It goes Battlefield Premium is still here. And surprisingly even so late after its uh, release, people are still playing this game. And knowing Battlefield, all of the games have a very loyal fan base. So one thing I like about originally liked about the Battlefield series is that they had a test range thing that where I can go test out my skills, check out weapons, learn how to fly. Well not literally learn how to fly, I still suck at doing that. But let's let's check out some things here. But as you can see the UI looks exactly the same as Battlefield 1. Uh, switching between the games though does take a 10 second delay, but still I think that's pretty amazing And I hope DICE and EA continues to do something similar to this because I, I felt like when they originally had the original uh, Battle log system. It was very very inconvenient honestly for my opinion mm, Let's see So I'm jumping in with the recon class. I've been playing this the re uh, the scout class, which is equivalent with recon on on Battlefield One. Personally, I think I've gotten better, but it's compared to Battlefield One. Uh, I believe uh, you can't really what is it, be the aggressive aggressive sniper guy. You always have to hang back and shoot your way, unless you have the Martini Henry or something like that. Man, wonder if he has. But yeah, everything seems to be the way I remember it. About the same controls. It's no different. But one thing I did like was the special battle pickups. I know there's elite classes in Battlefield. But this is pretty cool. I like this a lot, actually. Oh yeah. And I don't have a lot of the, the unlocks unlocked for Battlefield 4 because I spent most of my time just playing, uh, trying to get all the gold assignments in the campaign. I'm trying to beat my friend's scores, but Battlefield is a pretty easy game to pick up, honestly. I was driving around, nothing really, but I wish Battlefield 1 had a test range kind of system where I can test out my weapons, the ones that I have. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I, I playing Battlefield 4 now, I think I, you can really appreciate the beauty and the amount of work that went into this game as well. I know Battlefield 1 is amazing to look at with your eyeballs, I mean, what else would you look at? But, this is pretty fun, honestly. But yeah, compared to Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 2, having a secondary gun and pistols are a lot more aggressive. As I've noticed when I was playing a match earlier. I forgot to record that, that was my bad. But uh, there are different server types out there. There's pro servers, where literally you start with 67% health, um, no friendly fire and everything. And I ended up shooting a bunch of my own comrades and people got angry at me. But at least I did try to revive them. Uh, some servers require a time limit on how much you can, uh, how fast you can revive your teams. Usually, uh, usually for Battlefield 3 and 4, I played mostly the engineer and uh, uh, what other class was there? I can't seem to. Remember. Oh yeah, so there was engineer, assault, and support, and then your recon class, which I, which is what I'm playing as right now, but. I've been, uh, usually Assault is my favorite. I've uh, unlocked at least most of the attachments for one gun, which is the AK-12, I think, or AK-7U. And uh, the CQB Ace uh, for the Engineer class uh, is a pretty versatile gun to use as well. It's my favorite. 
But yeah, let's just jump into a boat and get familiar with the controls. One thing I did like about Battlefield 4 is that the water system, the waves and everything just like bouncing up and down in waves just makes everything so much more intense instead of a flat water system. Also, don't get me started about the Levolution events, which were interesting. In Battlefield 1, compared to Battlefield 1, uh, those Levolution events are placed with the behemoths, which are, which, if you're a fan by now or you've been living around Iraq, it's just like Levolution, but not really. It's just more of a, a like a, a chance for the, the losing team to regain some ground. Usually it doesn't help, it usually it does. It's just an amazing thing to look at. Like, for example, you look at a, a Zeppelin, you see that thing crashing down below you. Can I shoot that down? Oh. Nope, it's just there. It's still a pretty good game. You know, let's jump into an actual match. So I'm just gonna exit to the menu real quick. I'm just gonna take a, take a look at the menu real quick. And as you can see, I can switch seamlessly between Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4. Battlefield Hardline is coming through, but I never picked up and played the online at all for that game. Uh, I didn't even finish the campaign for it either because I just didn't have the time. Because ain't nobody got time for half-baked ideas. Just kidding. A lot of hard work went into the campaign for that game, and I do intend to play it in the future, honestly and sincerely. But it's pretty cool if you go to... So apparently Operations is not available yet. Or you can't access it. Huh, that's interesting. And then... I don't know how I can find my assignments for my soldier class. Uh, but it looks about the same. Only the difference is that the chromatic ab aberration effect comes into play for Battlefield. You can play War Stories, and you can actually switch seamlessly, but I'm not going to do that. It, so I was wrong about the 10 second delay, actually. It's a 5 second delay between switching games, which is interesting. And if you have your game installed on a, su a solid state drive, it should be pretty fast, honestly, in my opinion. So so I guess this is where I access my my weapons. So that's pretty interesting. Can I customize it from this menu? I almost have all the weapons unlocked thanks to playing the campaign, playing it thoroughly. And then also I have Battlefield Premium from when Origin gave it away for free right before Battlefield 1's launch. I was originally going to get it, but I was like, I don't play this game 24-7, but that's just me, you know? So what am I running it with? I forgot. So for, for, what was I saying? But yeah, I'm just trying to look and see if I can take a look at my attachments. Nope, I, it looks like I have no choice. These are my attachments. I do have attachments. But it doesn't seem to be like Battle Log where I can look at my attachments and equip my sidearms. Without further ado, let's just get jump into a quick match real quick. So as you can see, it has every single operation, night operation, everything ready to go. Let's see how matchmaking is. Usually a server isn't the best. I usually have to go in and actually take a look at what I got. And with the magic of editing, we are going to actually jump into a game. Woohoo. Where do you think you're going? Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Nope. Oh, no you don't. No you don't. Ooh. Watch your stuff next time. Nope. Oh, headshot. Nor. Nope. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Got your dog tags. 